Okay, so we're back with part two. So we're talking about Aisha, um, the child bride of Muhammad. So you see, um, I was just explaining to you that you can't generalize your views and impose them on everyone, that everyone should adopt your ethics and your morals, right? Because you think they're right. Because you've been fed so much, you've been fed so much, uh, you know, stuff that you think you're right. So you can go to, to, uh, to an Italian and go like this and think nothing will happen. And you can go to a uh, Chinese and expecting to use English grammar when he, he speaks in his Chinese language, and you can go to uh, you know an African uh, you know a tribe and uh, tell him that you know sticking big earrings in his uh, you know ears is uh, is uh, you know not acceptable. Or you can go to um, different places where people do some things that to you might be very you know amazing. You're like, what the heck? Man, it's horrible the worst thing ever just because you've been brought up that way and you've been conditioned to believe that this is the only ethics and morals that you can ever take and this is the best way ever so we have to look from a very objective uh, you know uh, stand and understand uh, where uh, such ethics stand and you find that uh, prophet's marriage with Aisha was no big deal no one ever complained till like the last few uh, you know centuries now where people like started looking into the life of Muhammad uh, from the West, obviously, from a West, Western perspective, and they're like, oh my God, look at that. Because they're trying to really defame the person, the person who brought the message, this person who was an uh, amazing person, full of mercy uh, when it needed to be mercy, and also very firm when it needed to be firm. And you know what? You can bring blood, he did this, he did that. You know, it stands nothing, my friend. You don't shake me, no one shakes me. I read all the books, I read all the attacks on, uh, on Muhammad, I read all the comments. You guys are not thinking. You are not using your brains. You are just watching TV, CNN, and you're being conditioned. And you're like, you know, I work with lab rats, okay? I work with lab rats, and we condition them to learn things, okay? And they get conditioned to to learn these things, and that's all they do, right? That's all. That's the only frame of mind they can only do those tasks. And I hope, inshallah, you guys can, uh, you know, you don't want to end up like that. That you let yourself be conditioned by people, by the media, by everyone. Everyone tells you, and you never think. You never think critically, you never use your brains, never go into understanding what you know. And subhanAllah, you look at the ever-changing scale of the West, of ethics. One day, something's right, next day, it's not right anymore. Ten years from now, it's right again, twenty years is not right. You know, you go from women's rights to women being enslaved right now to like, you know, they're like sex toys for people pretty much in strip bars and in music videos and what whatnot. You go that people rape little uh, girls right now. They don't, you know, um, obviously marry them. So there's like a nine-year-old or a ten-year-old woman, you know, woman I would say who's already in her period, and you know she might be very mature. You know, I don't know if there's uh, any girls uh, who think that way because now they want to watch cartoons and Sailor Moon and play with little dolls, and they're very mature. And their parents, you know, um, obviously it's a very different lifestyle that what happened in Arabia 1,400 years ago when women were already alhamdulillah by that time helping their moms and they knew how to cook and they knew everything about the society and they were very mashallah very you know educated in terms of life so you find that you know people here will go and rape little girls people here you know girls of 12 11 years old they get pregnant i was very uh, amazed when i came to you know in grade nine i was like i was my first year in this country in canada and i was amazed to find that there's girls who are pregnant in my high school in my grade i was like man that is crazy so you find, and they're like, they're married or something. Well, they're not married. Some of them didn't know who their dads were because they slept with so many people. So you see, you have to look from a very, very amazing point of view here uh, that we're being spoon fed. We're given all this garbage to believe, you know, and we never question everything. We just sit behind on the chair and we just sip in, sip in, just eat, 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 and then we regurgitate everything we heard. We just go, oh, Muhammad is this, Muhammad is that, this is that, this is that. Come, why doesn't it come from here? Boom, out. I think it, oh. Hmm, maybe it's not the way it is. 1400 years ago, different era, different time, different surroundings, different things, different ethics, different morals. You know what, maybe it's not that bad. Maybe it's, you know? And you find even today, subhanAllah, different societies, different aspects, different ways of looking at things. So just because you think, that you own the world and it's yours and you should impose your rights on everyone you know uh, doesn't make uh, just you right okay 
so please whenever you come with this bring something you know heavy okay this is nothing okay this you don't shake anyone and no one shakes anyone by attacking Muhammad alhamdulillah um, everyone understands I hope who is you know who uses their their brain and is very irrational and uh, you know that there was nothing wrong there and I did a very 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 uh, um, amazing thing to marry the right thing okay and um, he was a very respectful mentor is there he loved her very much he never never did he rape her as people say okay consent when a girl understands okay she consents to her marriage okay sorry a lot of people think that Islam you don't consent to your marriage actually the only ones who can consent in the end is the woman and the man okay she has to, she has to be asked he has to be asked they come together no there's no pre-arranged marriages and all this uh, garbage okay it doesn't exist in Islam sorry sorry to close the door that's uh, different faiths different religion okay and you go and tell Hindus that their pre-arranged marriages are not uh, you know they're not right you know that's their culture okay so you want to impose your views on him again so you see, um, so Muhammad did a very, very amazing thing, a very commendable thing, very good thing. Alhamdulillah, took care of this girl, uh, he loved her, and he never approached her, never, you know, as people say, uh, without her consent. And Alhamdulillah, uh, this is the, the justice of Islam, that, you know, we don't let our women go around and sleep around and get AIDS and all these things and, uh, you know, do these bad things. Alhamdulillah, uh, we, we push our, our, our society and our, our brothers and our sisters to get married. Uh, if, you know, if they have the means, if they can support uh, their young age so they can avoid this, this turbulations, so they can avoid uh, you know, the sins of fornication and adultery and whatever there is uh, there. And um, you look at it, there's a lot of wisdom behind it. Um, you look at it, people back in the days, not just the Muslims, but Christians did it. In my country, we married early. In the villages, people were married early. And my friend's parents were very married very early. My grand-grandparents were married very early. And you know what? Because at 18, 19, these people, 16, 17, they were working on the field already. They were striving for their families. They were responsible. No one gave them, you know, money and go, you know, allowance and go, go to a dance club and this. These people were working the fields, man. These were strong people who knew what commitment is, knew that life, you know, is short and you have to do your best and you have people who rely upon you. And you're not just going to drag them down and like, you know, take away and suck away their resources, but you're going to bring uh, to the community and build up. So we're looking at different kind of mentalities, different goals, different approaches to things. And how can we judge these people, subhanAllah, with, you know, the amount of problems our society is having? Wow. So really, honestly, um, you know, I always use this. Um, it's, it's, it's amazing uh, in the way we look at things, what kind of eyes we look through things. I would say, don't look at the East through the eyes of the West, okay? You have to be in the East to know what the East is, and you have to be in the West to know what the West is. So... Uh, again, I hope I clarify that. If anyone wants to put a video response, anyone has a problem with it, you know what, tough luck. <laughs> You're not gonna, you know, it's in our there. If we, we were ever ashamed of anything, we could remove it from history, from the hadith, from anywhere. You know what, we're not. And no one is. And no one who is rational and is in their right mind will ever condemn someone who did something 1400 years ago, which was totally acceptable. Okay, that's like you coming, and I'll be like, you can't drink alcohol, even though you're 25 or something. Be like why not? No, it's wrong. It's wrong to drink alcohol. You can you like, but the law allows it. I'm like, no no no. No no no. You know what? Fourteen hundred years from now people will be like, you know what, uh, Mr. George Bush, you drank alcohol. You're a horrible person. You're done. You are the worst person. How can you do that? You drank alcohol. You know, and then people will be in defense of George. Well at that time, you know, the age limit to drink was eighteen or whatever, twenty one in America, right? You know, and people are like, no, it's unacceptable. You know, and people are like, no, 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 look, man. Because, you know, at, maybe at that time, the people are accusing him, you know, the age limit would be 30, maybe two can drink, or 40. You know, but George Bush or drink at 21, right? So people are like, oh my God, George Bush drank at 21. What a person. You know, he broke the law. Well, he broke our law, blah, blah, blah. So she is the same kind of way. 